Hi everyone, welcome back to the next of our sessions on helping support really productive and efficient revision for A-levels and for GCSEs. So today I'd like to talk to you about revision timetabling and scheduling to make the most out of your day. A couple of key points here to remember. Firstly, we know and studies show us that for the vast majority of people, mornings are the most productive and efficient times for our brains, the times when we're able to concentrate for the longest period of time and also the most effectively and efficiently. So trying to make kind of the most of those morning periods in the first four hours or so after waking up, really, really key. That's especially something important to remember on weekends uh, ahead of the exams when you're revising at home out of school. The next thing to remember is that studies show that when, when students are kind of concentrating or, or focusing for a lengthy period of time, what we have is a period of higher level concentration at the beginning of a session and a higher level of concentration and recall of memory at the end of a session. And so if you're working for, a, say, for a straight hour, you have two periods of kind of higher recall or higher memory. One thing that we know is that we can dramatically increase the effectiveness by breaking that one hour slot into two 25 minute sessions, because then you have a higher, higher level beginning recall and a higher level ending recall for the first 25 minutes, followed by a five minute break, and then two higher periods of recall at the beginning and the end of the second, second session. We call this technique the Pomodoro technique. It's named after the old fashioned tomato shaped kitchen timer uh, that we all kind of probably know and love and remember. Uh, so trying to maximize our revision time by having shorter 25 minute sessions always interspersed by a five minute break. If you're planning for kind of a, a full, say, morning of revision, the perfect setup is to do four Pomodoros, so four 25-minute sessions followed by a five-minute break. And once you've done four of those, take a longer break to give your brain a little bit of a chance to digest some of that work you've been doing to, to kind of process it. Um, 35 to 40 minutes would be a perfect, slightly longer break after five Pomodoros or four Pomodoros. One other thing that's really useful to remember is that it's really good to keep your brain on its toes when you're revising. So rather than, say, doing four Pomodoros all on history or all on geography or all on science, it's far, far better to interleave, it's called, by splitting up and spacing out the subjects one after another. And it's essentially just a little way of waking up your brain. Every time you change subject, your brain goes, oh. I have to concentrate a little bit more on that. I have to focus just a little bit harder to kind of keep on top of what's going on. It stops you kind of, your brain pulling into cruise mode where it gets too comfortable. What we really want to avoid is your brain kind of just starting to go through the motions and getting really comfortable and just cruising through its revision. Keep it on its toes, space up those subjects, interleave them, and keep your sessions short, 25 minutes with a five minute break. Thanks very much, good luck revising.